Good day, everybody. Welcome to Larez Expressions Art Studio, where I will be demonstrating another piece. I just wanted to tell you before I start that I've got two different types of resin in here, and the birds are just going crazy because we just had a hailstorm and <laughs> all the birds are kind of chirping and complaining about stuff, I guess. But um, I've got, I've run out of uh, Aldex Crystal Cast, which is one that I use along with uh, the Mad Artist um, Epoxy Resin. So because I started pouring and I've already kind of had a measured and I needed a certain amount for this board, I just uh, mixed up uh, a little bit of the Mad Artist uh, Resin and uh, It'd be interesting to see how those two work together but at the moment uh, everything is looking good I've got a board here this is actually not an MDF board I know it looks like it but it's like that uh, compressed cardboard so I thought I might just um, pour on it and see what happens because I've got quite a few crates and these are the lids for them and I thought I can utilize them and use them for something useful, you know, for storage and things like that. And why not make them look pretty? At least the lids, because I think the crates will be a little bit harder to, to do, or drums rather. So the colors that I will be using are going to be very unusual and unusual combination of colors. Let me just check for all the newbies when you're mixing your resin. Please just make sure you scrape the sides, the bottom, and look for the streaks. If you still have some streaks, they look like a bit of hair kind of floating around, keep mixing. But this is all mixed. The temperature is just right. It is quite humid in here, so we'll see how we go. So the colors. All the res, of course, epoxy pigments. I've got a little bit of turquoise green here. 10% uh, of the pigment to 90% of the resin. You can add more resin if you want more of a transparent color. And uh, these are, this is a, an opaque, beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, most of these are actually all the ones that I'm using today, except for the angel white, are mixed by me. So, they are quite unique. There's that one. I've got um, a little bit of angel white left in my jar here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour the resin straight in there and mix it up and see if I need to add more white to it because um, I don't like wasting anything and this is the best way to preserve all of your pigment. I don't mind doing this but what I do do is once I've mixed it really well in here I will transfer it in my cup just because it's uh, really hard to mix your resin and pick up every single bit of your pigment and you don't want to have the unmixed pigment in your artwork because it won't set properly and we don't want those issues we just want to get on with it and and get it done so that's done ready for the trash can and this is beautiful opaque another opaque so two opaques so far then I've got a really gorgeous color this is um, called the sinful chocolate and you will see in a minute why it's just a gorgeous gorgeous reddish brown just an amazing earthy kind of color and I think uh, we need more earth colors in our resin artwork we all seem to use purples and you know turquoises and things like that blues but not um, not too many earth colors and look at this look at that 
How gorgeous is that? And I just realized looking up how much mess you can see in here. And I do apologize about that. <laughs> it's just that I'm in the middle of a move. So my studio is kind of packed with all kinds of bit of everything. And I am sorry about that. So just try to block these areas and not there. Just look at this bit here. Okay. All right. So next color I have, I always use a metallic, or I try to anyway, so I've got the, the deepest bronze, or the deep bronze rather, and I'm going to pop that in my cup. This is a new Lores epoxy metallic pigment. So I'm going to, this will complement beautifully so we'll just see see what happens. You just never know. You never, never know if you never have a go. So have a go, all you newbies out there. Just have a go. Like, we were all newbies once. And that's what happens. You've got to start somewhere. Baby steps. You make a lot of mistakes. Good thing about resin art is you can always cover it with more layers. So there's that gorgeous bronze, deep bronze, really, really beautiful. And one more color, and I need another cup, which I haven't prepared, is the purple gold. It's a really pretty color. It's a purple, obviously, with a hint of gold through it. And you will see that in the artwork. I absolutely adore this one. And I know I was saying about earth colors and everything. But I have to have a little bit of purple in there. And I might even add another different color in here. Let's just see. Just want to make it a bit funky and a little bit different. Actually, I might mix a bit more white. Because I think I want to do a swipey thing today. Just uh, for a bit of fun. Just mixing this. Every time you mix, for all you newbies out there, make sure you scrape the sides, pick it up and keep mixing because it's very easy to leave the residue of your paste on, on the, the wall of your cup. So that um, will not work out very well in your in your artwork. So have a look at this. You can even see how gorgeous that is. Okay. Okay, so I decided to go with a little bit more white. So I've got another jar which has a tiny little bit of white in there. So I'm just going to fill it up with some of the resin. And then give that a really good mix. And I've got more white. I'm gonna need more white than the rest of the colors to to achieve the effects that I want to achieve. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how it all goes. But I think it's gonna be fine. Oops, that's got a bit of blue in it. Oh no, 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 no. That was a bad idea. I didn't realize I had a little smear of blue there. And you probably would have seen that, but because I'm all in the moment, I missed that part. So what I'm going to do is just pull it out of there. There we go. Clean. All clean. Pop it in there. And that is that. Lots of white. Okay. So I've got a few different colors here. They're all totally contrasting, which is going to be quite um, an interesting, interesting thing. I've got a little bit of the clear left. So I might just pick another color. Just give me a second. Okay, so I've picked a blue star. This is another metallic pigment. And I need a stick. This one will do me. So 
So just the stick to pull it out of here. 10% going in the container. This is quite a transparent one, but it's very shimmery. Right in there. And give that a good mix. So sticky, so it's kind of... Here we go. There we go. Sometimes you just have to give it that extra love to mix it really, really well. Okay, I want to give a couple of shout outs while I am remembering it, <laughs> otherwise I will forget. Um, Tammy Anderson, please, please go and watch her YouTube videos. She um, is part of my Facebook group called the, the Fluid Community. Oh, somebody's calling. Just give me a second. Okay, sorry about the interruption. I mixed the blue star. Look at that. Beautiful, shiny, and shimmery pigment. It's a transparent, so. And I have a tiny little bit of clear left in here just for, you never know. You know, you might need it. You just don't know. Now, how to do this. I was going to put the yellow in there, but I always get a little bit nervous about the yellow. So, I think... This is going to be a, a little bit different, but we might just layer some colors. Let me just quickly think if I get the white on the outside. Now, I'm going to have the white on the inside, okay? Because I'm going to do the swipey thing. I've got some papers ready here already. I'm just going to use a paper to pull it and probably, you know, use some um, heat as well to help it with the cells so I'm trying to get some of the or most of the white out and then I'm going to give it a little bit of heat I'm saving some white just a, a little bit of white where's my white I um, can't believe I lost it okay that's very interesting okay I found it just wanted to stick to pull out the rest of this white that's been sitting in this jar and the other jar which is well quite a bit of it because if you let it sit it just accumulates in the bottom and I don't want to waste that it's about um, a teaspoonful there you know that comes in handy it all comes in handy I'm definitely not a waster and anybody who knows me knows that not a waster of anything yeah I could be a millionaire which would be nice but I would still not waste things you know I just hate throwing things out I think you're just born with that and that's how I was brought up to appreciate things and um, you know when I was growing up you know as a teenager we used to fix things back then you know if something breaks down you fix it and we could fix all kinds of things. I remember I was wiring things, you know. I'm just like, <laughs> people just don't do it now. You, it's just so easy to just throw it in the in the garbage and then go and buy buy a new one. That's why we have so much rubbish laying around everywhere. That our tips are full of junk. Okay, so there we go. Just going to heat this up a little bit. Okay, before I got interrupted, I started talking about something. Oh gosh, I'll try and get it. Okay, something just fell in there. Okay, so before I got interrupted, by the phone I started mentioning this lady um, Tammy Anderson she is just absolutely amazing at creating art and she is just so loyal to Lores pigments and uh, she just has a, a real interesting and amazing way of making those colors shine and just turning them into just 
beautiful beautiful artwork so go and check out her youtube channel her name is tammy anderson and um, she's a real lovely gal and a beautiful one and also really easy to follow and she's great for newbies okay so if you're a newbie go and watch her she's amazing another shout out to my mates in the states as well um yep james and frankie morrison amazing amazing people they i just spend uh, so much money on buying their jewelry <laughs> paparazzi jewelry i just can't get enough of it and i can't wait to receive them they're also uh, a wonderful wonderful couple to to watch so hopefully they have their um youtube going but if you if they don't then just go and watch um their videos on facebook so that's frank and james morrison okay let me just get crack a lack in here before this starts to set on me um we will do the alternating of the transparents and the opaques if you want cells that is the best way to achieve them near my white i want the, this bronze but so i will start at the edge i think i will go with i don't want to lose all of that so okay let's just go with this brown sinful chocolate it's like a reddish brown and it's so gorgeous some of these colors seriously I just want to eat them they just look so amazing okay so that's going there like that and I'm gonna scrape up everything that I've got left in that cup So, you know, the color that you don't mind losing, you put that at the end. Because um, I will be swiping over these colors. So, you've got to make sure that you don't lose the, your, your very, very favorite ones. But this is gorgeous. And it's, it's just an amazingly interesting combination as well oh bloody hell just use my fingers much easier and quicker and more satisfying so it's an interesting interesting combination of colors <laughs> we all see you never never know and uh, I don't think I've ever done a swipe like this before and this board as well is not an authentic kind of board so everything is new now that's an opaque we're going to go with a little bit of bronze over that which is a slightly transparent one i have mixed it to be a transparent i just want to have a thin stream of this and you know overlapping slightly oh come on don't stop now right there and then we're going to go with a gorgeous, let's go with the purple, huh? Let's see. Go with the purple and then we're going to do the blue and the, actually, blue. You notice that I don't go all the way to, to the edge because it's going to move and I want to make sure that I've got enough resin. to cover everything because the whole thing needs to be covered oh this blue is just amazing just amazing we just had a hailstorm so I hope it doesn't start to to thunder again because uh, you won't be able to hear anything I've said <laughs> okay now another little stream see if I can squeeze this a little bit and go Cross that blue this just separates it a little bit no particular reason ok 
Okay, and then I'm going to go with this blue, which is a turquoise green. One of my favorite colors. And I'm going to try to get all of it out. I'm going to have to scrape it this time. Somebody said, um, I, I read these comments and I have a good laugh sometimes because I got this person saying to me, girl, love the artwork, love the pigments, love the video, love everything, but you talk too much. It just made me laugh. Um, so, you know, I just, you can't really please everybody, but I guess, you know, what else am I going to do while I'm doing this? I've got to say something, unless I'm narrating, and then I'm going to be talking anyway. So, you know, I've got to do something. And I always say, fast forward. If you're bored with the mixing or whatever, if you don't like the talking, just bloody turn the volume down. That's all I can say. Now, I'm just going to go with this purple gold. That's the name of the pigment right over and there's lots of room there so I'm just going to go across there like that I've got plenty of it so I might even go a little bit in the middle because that white really spread quite a bit so I might just go in the middle like this and whatever I've got left I've got this gorgeous bronze put that in there might just go with the bronze on the inside here as well of the white just going to create an absolutely amazing effect that's even nice just like that this bronze is just gorgeous one day I'm going to create a piece of art where I'm not manipulating anything I'm just going to pour things and pour these lines because look at that that, that just looks gorgeous absolutely gorgeous without anything just the bronze over white super cool and also the um, gold over white you wouldn't think so but it just creates this really amazing champagne kind of color stunning so I'm just patching up things now doing a bit of patchwork Patching up some of the areas. I've got lots of this purple left, so what to do with it? Let's just go on the inside again. Just to, you know, use it up. So that's all used up now. Like that. And then, yeah, I've got none of this gorgeous brown left, but I really want to see if I can scrape up a tiny little bit. There's like two drops here. That'll be enough to give me a little bit of this sinful chocolate and put it in with the white. Because it's most of it is going to go with this swipe. I'm so excited. <laughs> Haven't done a swipe in yonks, Tanya. Okay. There we go. For any of you who are new to my channel, if you didn't know or haven't heard of Lares, um expressions pigments I am the founder of these amazing pigments and do pop in send me an email and ask questions if you're interested in knowing more about them but um, a lot of people who follow me already know but every now and then you I get these um, new people who don't know and they don't associate me with these amazing pigments and you know it's not about me it's about uh, the product and I'm never 
never extremely formal. I'm always easygoing. And at you know, I am an artist first, and then everything else after. So do send me an email and say good day and ask away about the pigments. Most of these are mixed by myself. Okay, so let's stop talking now and start creating. I'm just going to warm it up a little bit. Heat gun. And then we're going to get our papers ready. These are just normal paper. You can probably plastic would work better. So I want to give it a little bit of a test. Actually, just want to scrape up all of this out. Waste not, want not. We're not about wasting things. And there's a tiny little bit of white which I would like to pop in here. So we're going to be pushing this white over, which is an opaque, over these pigments and, um, oh gosh, I've got to clean my hands. So maybe for part of it we will do it that way and for the other part we'll go the opposite way. Either way you will get results. Okay, let's go. It's going to be a little bit of a mess, so I better move all that stuff out of the way. Okay, let's get cracking. Paper, just ordinary paper, okay? Here we go. You could use the palette knife if you want to. Okay, flip it over. Things are already happening. So I might just get the other side now. I'm just using the same one now. Go to stand up for this one. Cool stuff happening there. Now, let's go this way now. The smaller one over the white Okay, that's looking really crazy. It's all looking pretty crazy already. Um, let me just see if I can do some. Okay, let's give it a little bit of heat. Okay, so that's looking pretty incredible, but too violety for me in the middle here. And that's because I pulled all that white over. But you can see that bronze popping out there. And these areas here are absolutely stunning. And this here. Okay, so another coat would probably fix it, probably would do something. But I'm pretty keen to give it another swipe. 
I know I'm going to lose all that, but I'm pretty keen to just give it a... Actually, I'm going to leave that as is. That's looking gorgeous. But I'm just... Uh, I think I just want to swipe. I'm going to use one of these papers because they've already got a bit of colour on them. And let's see what happens. But you can see all those beautiful... God, look at that. Okay, let me go this way. Okay, big concentration now, so bear with me. Okay, just leave it so you can see I scraped so I don't lose too much of this gorgeousness. Go around. So, new cells opening going to give it hit it a little bit more with the heat So that's definitely created something crazy there. Look at all these cells here. It's just amazing. Just that line there that I'm not too keen on, which I'm going to get rid of by doing this. And that's how I fix things when I'm not happy with them. I love my lines. That looks pretty cool right there. love that these cells the way i get the cells to open up is by doing that up and down kind of motion Love that, love that, love this. Got to do something about this, guys. Heat. Okay, so now I'm happy with the wires looking really, really amazing. Really amazing. Crazy, crazy. Let's see what I can do in the middle here. Middle just needed something other than smoke. Okay, so that needed to open up over there. See if I can grab a little bit of this bronze and see if I can do something with it. Let's do something. It just needs a little zhuzhing up, as we say. Oh no, losing all this gorgeous, gorgeous blue star yep lost it all bugger me okay it's not good now i could pick up the stuff from the bottom here but it's all too light the color is way too light so i don't want to put it on there maybe a tiny little bit of this purple just need something couple of little swirls that's all and I think that's all I've got tiny little bit of this blue actually my little 
heat it up to see if I can do something with it. And that's what I do. I do the pour and then I manipulate because I believe that this is art and it doesn't just have to be a pour. It can be artistic. You can take time to, to create things. And if you can see things kind of not, not uh, doing what you want it to do, you can always fix it up, you know, give it a little bit more heat. It's a shame that I lost all that lovely brown, but it just so happened the way I layered the colors. Now let's see. real crazy in the middle there and it's really smoking now so I'm gonna leave it alone good to know when to stop even for me but uh, yeah it's looking very interesting I'm gonna bring you down so you can have a, a closer look take my gloves off and hopefully it won't move too much